Hey guys, just doing a quick video today. It's going to be on this glass I've been trying to get hold of in New Zealand. Didn't have much success, but I spotted uh, that they had them in a store here in Australia, so I managed to pick up a couple of packs. Uh, my brother-in-law's got one, and I've um, got a, myself a pack to take back to New Zealand. Uh, you may have heard of it. Um, Bear Lover 1983 was talking about it on his latest glassware video. Um, this is the Spiegelau India Pale Ale Glass. It's a collaboration with uh, Dogfish Head and Sierra, Sierra Nevada Breweries. So this uh, glass was chosen from uh, um, hundreds of different designs and uh, it's meant to enhance the uh, flavour, um, aroma and also help with the head retention of the beer. So. Uh, Let's crack open a beer and pour it in, see what it, how it goes. Today I'm drinking a Thomas Cooper Selection Celebration Ale. Just pop that in. If you can hear that, it's the old bottle opener's uh, a race car sound to it, pretty cool. Go. Okay, so that's poured up very nice. I'll just um, apologies if the standard of the recording is not very good. I'm just doing this on my on my tablet. So yeah, it's poured up very nice. Heat's come up very well. Nice and creamy. Let's give it a give it a taste. Uh, tastes very nice in the glass. So the idea, um, and I have already used this glass, is um, once the beer gets down a bit and you tip the glass on its side, these ribs actually help to uh, reform the head. And the way they do that is they, uh, they mix the beer, or the beer swirls around in here, um, in the same way that you, you can swirl a glass around, uh, releases some more CO2 gas and then the head reforms. We were trying it out last night, we were getting sort of down a bit here um, and there was virtually no head and then when we tipped the glass on its side and tipped it back upright, um, the head would reform. So I'll just, um, I'll just have a, actually I might pause the video there and I'll get the beer down a bit and then I can actually show you what happens. Okay, I was going to demonstrate it um, while I was drinking, but I can't do it on this tablet. But if I tip the glass on its side, I'll do it as far as I possibly can. Yep, and then quickly put the glass back up. It um, will reform the head. I'll, I'll just um, take it a bit more out and we'll give it another try. Okay. Tip it up a bit more. There you go. I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming out from the bottom, but it's re reformed the head. So the idea is basically that you keep a head all the way to the bottom of the beer. And I must say, it's a it's a very nice glass to use. Um, we had some nice beers last night in it. They tasted tasted great. Um, as Beer Lover 1983 pointed out, this, this is actually uh, crystal, it's not glass. Um, so it's a very, very thin glass, it's very super light, but it's, it's actually quite a strong glass. They've um, made the, um, the breakage resistance um, quite high on it. Um, it's dishwasher safe, but um, I'll probably just rinse mine out in hot water. Um, but um, yeah, beautiful glass. It's a it's a 500 mil glass, so it'll take a full. Actually, I think it will hold a full 500 mil bottle and still have a little bit of uh, space for a for, for a head formation on the top. So yeah, that's uh, that's the glass there. I'll just put this down for a second. Just read what it says on the side of the box. 
Yeah, it said the glass was achieved through a series of design and tasting workshops in which hundreds of possible designs were considered. The brewers ultimately and unanimously chose by secret vote one glass, number six, from a final lineup of eight custom made prototypes. So it will prefer, preserve a frothy head, enhance taste and mouthfeel, and present a comfortably wide opening for the drinker to savour each beer. So yeah, that's, that's the glass. Um, def, definitely recommend it. Um, so I think we, we paid, or I paid, 30 U, uh, Australian dollars, um, which is probably similar to 30 US dollars. Um, probably nearer to sort of 20 British pounds, so yeah. See if um, if you're looking at getting another glass, I'd def definitely, definitely recommend giving the Spiegelau a try. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.